Edward Burnett Tyler is one of several 19th century anthropologists who developed a model of unilineal cultural evolution. These theories often depict culture as evolving from simple to complex forms, kind of like how our firearms evolved from simple and clumsy muskets to the killing machines that we have today. Looking back today, we can clearly see the issues with this theory where primitive cultures could somehow be stuck and unable to evolve. Yes, early anthropologists often called people primitive and savage. But returning to Tyler, the idea that all of our cultural innovations, not only firearms, but also science, mathematics, and even religion, evolved. But in their evolution, some cultural practices, like shaking hands, saying God bless you, or even several religious practices, have been carried to the present, even though many of their meanings have been lost. Shaking hands originally was a way to show that we came in peace and didn't have any weapons. And we used to say God bless you because of an old belief that it was the soul trying to escape. For Tyler, cultural survivals like these prove that all cultures evolved from older primitive forms that look similar to what we see all over the world today. This idea that some contemporary cultures depict an evolutionary stage that all cultures evolved from is called uniformitarianism, which is a term borrowed from the natural sciences. In Tyler's work, he mainly uses religion to help him describe this whole process. Being born into a British Quaker family, Tyler adopted agnostic beliefs that led him to treat religion just like any other intellectual and cultural system. This is seen in his first book, which is based off his observations from when he accompanied an archaeologist through Mexico. Here, Tyler describes how a lot of the instability and poverty there was born out of the doleful ignorance perpetuated by Catholic priests, who had a kind of monopoly on the educational system. Even though Tyler aimed his criticisms at the Catholic Church, it's hard to miss that he also aimed it at the entire country. In some ways, Tyler rejected racism because his uniformitarianism argued that all human minds are alike. And so we can look at other humans in order to see older stages of culture. In his two volume series entitled Primitive Culture, Tyler outlines all his ideas, including giving what's considered to be the first real definition of culture as that complex whole, which includes knowledge, belief, art, law, morals, custom, and any other capabilities and habits acquired by man as a member of society. There are several issues with Tyler's theories, which can be exemplified in his statement that few would dispute that the following races are arranged rightly in order of culture. Australians, Tahitians, Aztecs, Chinese, and Italian. This order is problematic because it assumes that those at the top promote and represent the best about humanity. And those at the bottom, not so much. But perhaps most importantly, Tyler wrongly assumes that modern cultures can exemplify older versions of Western culture. This ignores that these so-called primitive cultures had plenty of interaction with Western culture, even in Tyler's time. Tyler usually names cultures who have been dominated by and live within other larger cultural paradigms. For example, the Aztecs, Australians, and nearly any other culture referred to by Tyler had experienced genocide, land dispossession, and other forms of domination that prevented them from development. With what we know about history, we now understand that cultures have come in all shapes and configurations, and any hierarchy that we create is only a reflection of our own bias, whether we favor technology or religion. Later, anthropologists like Franz Boas would reject unilineal cultural evolution altogether because it assumes way too much. Boas would argue that instead, we need to understand the specific cultural contexts in which cultures developed. And a large part of this is rooted in history. So what do you think about culture evolution? Do you think it explains how cultures change? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video or any of the work that we do, be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you all next time.